What's up guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. So if your PS5 is stuck in safe mode, and you have a file corruption issue, this is most likely caused by a rest mode bug. And this rest mode bug is pretty common. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it. I'm going to get you out of safe mode and back to playing your games. And then we're going to turn off rest mode, which should fix this problem permanently. And then after we show you how to fix your PS5, as an added bonus, we're going to show you how to set up your USB storage on your PS5 to save space on your console. And we'll show you how to transfer games from the console to the storage device. Next on the Ultimate Tech Hub. So it's no surprise, since the PlayStation launched the PS5 console, there's been quite a few bugs they've had to work out. However, some bugs are still there. Like for instance, the Wi-Fi disconnection issues, random console crashes, and that annoying rest mode bug. And today, we're going to show you how to fix that annoying rest mode bug. And then, after we fix the rest mode bug, we'll then show you how to install USB extended storage for your PS5 console. And this is great news, because the PS5 only comes with 825GB of SSD storage. And to make matters worse, there's really only 667 gigabytes available. And that's because the SSD needs room for the operating system and the updates. So first, let's go ahead and fix that annoying rest mode bug. Let me quickly describe the rest mode bug that I'm talking about. This is exactly what happened to us. Our PlayStation 5 was in rest mode overnight. When we woke it up in the morning, it had a file corruption error. At this point, the PS5 went into safe mode, and here we had a few options. The first two options were to update the software via internet or USB drive. And the third option was a factory reset of the software. And this is the last resort, because this wipes out everything on your PS5. So just a heads up, once you're in safe mode, you cannot get out of it, until you fix the issue. And herein lies the problem. We tried all three options to no success. We tried the first two options to update via internet and USB, and each time we got a file corruption error. We tried the third option to factory reset the PS5, and we got the same file corruption error. Now we tried multiple times with each option, just to make sure. All with no success. At this point, we called PlayStation to see if they could help us fix the problem. However, their only solution was to get our console serviced. And that would mean FedExing our console to the service department. And because our PS5 is still under warranty, we'll pay for everything. That's a relief. So while we're waiting for PlayStation to send a FedEx box to our house, we decided to try to fix it ourselves. And at this point, the PS5 is pretty much bricked. It's stuck in safe mode. Now we had no plans of trying to open up the PS5 and tinker around with the parts. That would void the warranty. But my plan was to perform a forced reboot. What does that mean? With most electronic devices, if you unplug them for a length of time and then plug them back in, you'll perform a forced reboot. This forced reboot can help clear out the device's memory and force it to reload and re-execute the software from scratch. So at this point, if you have the same problem that I had, turn off your PS5. If it's in safe mode, you'll have to use the button on the console to turn it off. Wait about a minute to make sure it's fully turned off. Then now unplug the power cord from the console. We kept our PS5 console unplugged for 48 hours. And that's because we we're busy working, filming and editing for YouTube. However, my recommendation is wait 30 minutes to an hour before plugging it back in. Be patient. So after plugging it back in and turning it on, it went back into the dreaded safe mode. <laughs> and from here we decided to first do an update via internet. Now remember, this update is pretty big. This is the April update, so it took about 4 minutes to download. And at this point it began installing it, which is good news. Because before, it would just say file corrupted and stop. After installing, it has to restart, and then it went into repair mode, which is great news. Because doing a forced reboot is only a temporary fix, there's always underlying issues. 
like hardware or software issues. So once the PS5 finishes repairing the disk and the database, we are good to go. Next thing you want to do is go to settings on your PS5. Go to system settings, then go to power saving, and turn off rest mode for all situations. You never want to have your PS5 go into rest mode ever. This should alleviate the rest mode bug for good. And set your controller to turn off after 30 minutes of no play. You don't want to drain your controller battery. Okay, now that the PS5 is working, let's go ahead and add some more storage to our console. With the new April update, you can now store PS5 games on external storage. However, you cannot play them. But transferring these games back and forth from external hard drive to internal hard drive is pretty simple. And if you had an external hard drive for your PS4, you can use it for your PS5. No formatting. So all you have to do is take the USB 3.0 from the external hard drive and plug it into the back of the PS5 console, one of these ports. Plug in the power for the external hard drive, and your PlayStation 5 will detect your hard drive automatically. From here, you can move games back and forth. My best recommendation is to move all PS4 games from the console to external hard drive. I only have a couple PS5 games on my console, so there's no real need to transfer those games to external storage yet. However, when I get a bigger library of games, I definitely will. And a couple more things. I'm gonna keep one PS4 title on my console hard drive, and that's Gran Turismo. The file size for that game is over 100 gigs, so it makes sense to keep it on the SSD. And as far as gameplay, it should play better on the SSD as well. And one more thing about external hard drives. Not all hard drives are guaranteed to work with the PS5. These are the minimum requirements for your external hard drive. You'll need super speed USB 5 gigabits per second or later, and the max capacity for your storage device is 8 terabytes, and the minimum is 250 gigabytes. You can connect multiple USB hard drives to your PS5, however only one will work at a time. And as far as the new April update goes, it's incredible. This new update is massive. It includes the PS5 storage on external hard drive, enhanced control and enhanced personal options for the PS5 console, new social features, and new features for your PlayStation app. So have fun with this new update. And we hope this video was helpful in getting your PlayStation fixed. And what's great about the forced reboot, it can fix many problems. So before you send your console out for service, try the forced reboot. And remember, turn off all rest mode features. At least until PlayStation fixes the problem. Well guys, we're all done here. I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And for every new member, we do a personal shout out on the very next video. And once again, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching, I really appreciate it.